How's it going YouTube? We have Pat Mac here, coach for the Sacramento Saints slash playing in week two of the CGT up against OG Albina, coach of the Miami Mets. You can see our team up above, their team down below. Both teams ranged in speed order, of course, as well as six Pokemon that we are bringing and six Pokemon that I think OG Albina is going to bring to our match. Part of the game plan here is definitely around screens and setup. We have set up on Garchomp and we have set up on Circuitry, so I'm looking for both those Pokemon to kind of break through and win us the game. Uh, in Mox, they were definitely able to, um, with uh, with some screen support or with just like getting predictions right, um, finding the right Mon to set up, that kind of thing. Uh, and then Future Sight is definitely part of our game plan too. As soon as the um, Crocodile goes down, their team is pretty weak to Circuitry just in general. So yeah, so that, that's basically the main game plan is uh, get is Zergatry is kind of the the cleaner in mind, um, and as soon as Crocodile goes down, uh, we can miss a Zap Cannon. That was not happening in Mox, but the plan is to miss a Zap Cannon so our Blender policy can go off. We can get double speed and then uh, kind of carry everything else from there. So we'll see if we're able to make that work, but that's definitely the game plan. And. Uh, yeah, if Crook isn't there, then uh, Zergatry looks pretty nice, and I may try to use it maybe to break more, and then clean with something else. We'll, we'll see how the game ends up going. So, uh, And of course, we'll see what 6 uh, OG Albina decides to bring here in just a moment. Alright, here we are in the match, and it looks pretty close to what I thought was coming. What's different? There's no Klefki. Okay, so kind of nice we don't have to worry about screens at all. Uh, what's here instead? There's a Thunderous here instead. Okay. Doesn't uh, surprise me too much that there's a Thunderous uh, on the team. Uh, I think after that, it looks like everything is about what we thought it was going to be. Um, hmm. So I guess in terms of leads, there's a couple of different leads I could go with. Uh, one is to just go with Garchomp and break immediately. Uh, I think that's fairly good against most things except like Scarf, Lucario, or... Um, like Mew, uh, which Mew is like kind of a touch of a concern of a lead. Um, so I think for that reason, I might go Stylus first. I could also go um, Slowbro, which I think is fine as well. It kind of depends on how I want to play this. Like Slowbro is a bit more of a passive lead, but it does allow me to get like a, um, a future side up and kind of go from there. Um, and play the rest of the game from that perspective. I think that is what I'll, I'll go with. So, good luck, have fun over to, uh, to Owen. Should be a good game. I think Mew is pro- <sighs> Yeah, if it's a Mew, I kind of wish I just started Grimmsnarl, but I don't know, there's only so much you can really do. We'll see what he does. Mid, who's that? Yeah, that is Mew. Okay, so I think here I'm just gonna go for Future Sight. Ah, do am I gonna go for Future Sight? I could honestly just swap immediately. Which I, I don't hate. I'm, I'm just gonna pop off a of Future Sight right away. Let's just like get a little bit of delayed damage here. It is a taunt set. Okay, so that's he heck good to know. Um, when I was playing uh, a match... Um, one of my uh, one of my mocks was against a taunt style Mew, uh, so at least I have a little better idea about what to expect from this standpoint. Which is fine. Like I just do a little bit of damage here, um, kind of delayed damage here, and there's a Volt Switch as well. <laughs> That's so funny. Okay. Uh, yeah, the other set, the, the, again, the mock set had uh, taunt and it had uh, what was this other? What was the other move? Volt Switch. Yeah, so that's funny. I wonder if it's the same set. I wish I could remember all of the moves on it. Uh, but it would be pretty funny. It would be very funny if it was the same thing. So we'll see. See what he goes into. I'm not too concerned about what he goes into. Because like, if he goes Crook here, um, I'm kind of okay with that. Now Lucario means I just go back right into uh, Slowbro. And I think that's fine. He might make a double here because he doesn't want to take the future sight. Totally fine. I think it's, it's just better for me to make this switch. And we'll go from there. And it is Shadow Ball. Okay. I was a little concerned that it might be a special set. And that does a lot of damage. Definitely a problem. 
Shadow Bolt Life Orb. Yeah, yeah. It is going to take this future side attack, which is perfect for me. That's really good, actually. Now, nothing on my team really wants to take uh, a Shadow Ball hit. I'm just going to go for more speed, I think, is going to be my play here. Um, just so I go into something that's faster than he is. Which I think is going to be this. Um, I think it's going to be this. Do I want to take this hit? Um, I kind of, like, I want to swap. Because I don't want to just lose this straight up. There's just no reason for me to. It's just a matter of what do I want to go into. I could go here and then I have Mock Punch priority. Which sounds kind of nice. Um, how bad of an idea is that? Yeah, I, th I think I like this play a little bit more. He also probably dies-ish to like a... Um, no, see, okay, cool. I mean, this probably doesn't matter, actually, because it looks like he's special. He goes close combat, okay. That's all right. Uh, probably dies to life orb is my guess. Okay, cool. All right, that's really nice. So Lucario dying to life orb uh, is pretty solid for me there. But we just kind of get a little bit of chip on some things. Now, what comes in against this mon? And that also is just like, Lucario is just one less mon for me to um, deal with in terms of uh, like a breaking or breaking force. So what is it going to go into? I'm honestly not quite sure. Goes back into Mew. Um, do I think you have Psychic? And honestly, if you do, do I care? But yeah, I think I want to keep this around. I can probably just go straight back out into... Um, to this mon eh i don't know if th well this gives me a regenerator right like this is probably this is probably a good play actually if he volt switches i don't want to have taken that yeah but like yeah actually that, that's not good <laughs> that's really bad actually uh okay so my play here is i'm gonna have to swap there's there's no way i stay in it's probably thunderous coming out i kind of wish i'd gone grim now aim -on. yeah thunderous Okay, so options here are honestly just go straight up into um, Garchomp, or I just go into Stylist here, I think. I could maybe go into... Oh, there's no Blacephalon. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go into Nom Nom then. Yeah, without there being Blacephalon... Uh... Okay, wait, how did I miss that he didn't have Blacephalon? Did I just not have it as part of my... Mons here? Okay, that's fine. Uh, so in this scenario, I kind of want to just Ice Punch. I don't think it's a problem for me to do so. If he goes into um, Toxapex, like that's a great scenario for me anyway. So I can, I think I can just hit this. Losing leftovers kind of sucks, but like this mon is actually way more expendable now. I kind of wish I'd noticed. Do we die to that? We don't. Okay, and he's going to lose some defense here, so we might actually pick up this KO. Big ol' Snorlax. Big Ice Punch. Oh, that's so close. Uh, I may have just honestly just let this go down. Um, do I want to save it? No, I like I said, I, this is expendable, right? This is an expendable mon. Yeah, that's fine. So Thunderous is going to KO Snorlax. And then I think I just want to go into... Um... God, I really just want to go into this one. Right? Yeah, why not? Why not? Uh, and then I think just the scale, of, the scale thought is fine. I potentially take some damage here, but um, also maybe not. Honestly, yeah, you have Mew. Makes sense. That's fine, though. So the question is, do I want to try to set up on this? That looks very defensive. 
Wow, we're getting all the hits. That's a five hit, okay. So on a five hit scale shot, we did like, oh, actually we did around half. Okay, that's probably about max HP. Do I want to go for this? It looks like EQ might kill. I don't think I need to. What if I... Oh, wait, hold up. What is he going to go for? If he's Ice Beam, that's really bad for me. You know what? Let's go... Um, let's just go Silas. I don't, I don't need to... Yeah, I don't need to lose anything from this. Like, I don't need a Ice Beam to be the play. I don't need a whatever to be the play. Yeah, that, that's honestly fine, actually. So I think in this scenario... Um, actually, in this scenario, I might just go for uh, a screen. Let's go for uh, Reflect, I think. Yeah, let's go Reflect. He might taunt me here, actually. Yeah, just swap, so that's okay. J-Bear is... You. Perfect. Okay, that's fine. <clears throat> so we'll get a Reflect up, and then I think my play is just go, um... I could go Slowbro again, but I actually feel kind of okay. Yeah, yeah, let's, let's go Slowbro. Let's go Slowbro. Because I think my play might be Slowbro and Teleport, actually. I could also Slowbro Future Sight. That's not a bad play either, I don't think. It is Toxic Spikes. Okay. Um, in that case, I think my play... You know what? My play is actually Future Sight here. <clears throat> I've seen two moves, I think, from the Mew so far. I've seen Taunt plus Volt Switch. I've seen Toxic Spikes from that. Okay. Yeah, that's okay. I don't mind if my, um, uh, if my Grim Snarl gets poisoned. That, that's, that's okay. Uh, yeah, so I think I just go into... I just go Grimmsnarl here, I think. <clears throat> and we play from there. Yeah, that's our card. That's fine. Yeah, Volt Switch again. So we take a little bit more chip damage. Yeah, I'm not too... Like, I'm, I'm concerned about it and I'm not concerned about it. Like, I, I do need to get rid of these hazards at some point. So I'll find a way to do it. Um... I am behind Reflect right now. Hold up, I'm behind Reflect. Can I use this to KO this, um, Crook? Behind Reflect, while at minus one. I do a good amount of damage to this. I'm gonna speed break. Let's go for it. This isn't gonna do that much damage to me. Because of Reflect. Uh, and I'm okay with just getting damage off on this. Perfect. Yeah, this mod has to go down in order for um, uh, us to win. So, yeah, that's fine. Part of the part of the idea behind Future Sight was to get this in to, for it to take chip damage. Uh, I think I am just gonna swap here. Oh, do I my... No, no, I think this is okay. Now, I don't lose... I, I lose my switch into Mew, but... Honestly, like... I think that's alright. I'm gonna go for another Spirit Break here. Oh, maybe you're going for... Oh, I should have gone Light Screen, actually. Yeah, I should have gone Light Screen. That's okay. That's okay. So, Crook picks up the KO on uh, Grim. And I think this means... I think this just means I go B-Boy and spin, I think is how I want to do this. And I get T-Spikes gone. Or am I okay with having T-Spikes up and then I just Scald? Nah. Yeah, I think I go B-Boy and spin. I'll get another Pokemon uh, poisoned, but I don't know. That's, I don't think that's too big of a problem. We 
we'll get the Intimidate drop, though, which is nice. Uh, I think he probably swaps, but um, I'm just rapid-spinning these hazards away. And then I think after that, I'm going... Um, Who's Jay Bear? Is that the Fox Specs? Okay, that's alright. So I think I'm rapid spinning, and then now it's kind of a question of what I want my play to be. So I think it could be... I think it could be Zerka Tree. I think it could be Zerka Tree. Uh, hard to say for sure, but I, I think this could be the play. Okay, they're staying in. What are you going for? If you go knockoff, I'm a little sad. You got T-Specs in. That's okay. That's fine. Now, question is, do you just go straight up into um, Crook or not? I think my play is to... Dazzling Gleam straight up once? I think is how I want to do that. I also really just want to Zap Cannon. Let's just Zap Cannon. I think it also might be a Thunderous Sack. Who's it, Himmel? Yep, it's a Thunderous Sack. Okay, please miss the freaking Zap Cannon. Yes! Okay! Alright, here we go. This could be how we straight up win this. Alright, we Dazzling Gleam, just in case the um, Crook comes in. Uh, the only problem with this is if he has uh, Dragonite with weakness policy. So Zerk is going to KO uh, Thunders. And now where do we go from here? We're at plus one. What do, what do you do? If you go Dragonite, I'm pretty sure I just have to Thunderbolt you. Uh, just kind of depends. Yeah, there's the Dragonite. Okay. So my expectation is that your... Yeah, my expectation is that your... Um... Yeah, I don't know. This this, this could be could be a little scary, but uh, I, my play, I think, is to just attack it. There's a chance I live a, an EQ, um, if that's what he decides to go for. I'm faster than everything right now. He can't Dragon Dance, so like he has to try to kill me. And if that happens, then maybe I can get into something else. He has superpower. Do I live a superpower? I might live a superpower. Oh my God. Okay, this might be this might be how we win. I'm just gonna Dazzling Gleam. There's no reason for me to to, to not. He doesn't have E Speed. Okay, this might be, this might be the sweep. This might be the sweep. This might be the sweep. Okay, here we go, Circuitry. Dragonite's down. Didn't have EQ on it. So what do you have next? I'm at plus two now, so I think, I think it might just, I think we might just win. It really depends on what he has left. I mean, I, I know what he has left, right? I see, I see the I see the Pokemon, so... It's just... It's just go for an attack. It's just go T-Bolt. It's just go T-Bolt. Zap Cannon Blunder Policy Zerkatree. Please KO, just so we don't have to deal with any of this mess. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, Zerkatree, Covenant Clutch. It's it, it's just... It's gonna be a Zerkatree sweep, everybody. That's just what it is. There's, there's nothing that can stop us. Oh man, okay, we got the opportunity. We got the opportunity to set up. Uh, if he didn't bring this in earlier, I don't think it's gonna matter. We just have to not misclick. Dazzling Gleam, boom. Let's get it. 
This KO is here. And then we KO the, the Tox effect. Okay, the Zerkatry sweep that I was hoping for for this game. We missed the freaking Zap Cannon. I swear, they were like... Oh my god, how many mocks were there? There were like... I want to say there was like three or four mocks that I played. Where, um... Yeah, we, we hit... We hit the Zap Cannon. Like, five times. And I was like, God damn it, what? Like, I remember there's a there's a note that I have in my where I prep my front office space, and uh, and I have a note on there as playstyle difference is uh, Miss Zap Cannon, and we did that, and we won the match. Freaking Zergatry is insane. I'm so glad I picked up this Pokemon. It was a lot of fun to build with. It was a lot of fun to play for this match as well as the mocks that I played for this battle. Anyway, good game over to to Owen. We found the opportunity to get the Zergatry sweep in. Uh, and made it happen. Honestly, Zap Cannon Blunder Policy, getting that speed boost, getting the, the damage from Dazzling Gleam, all that worked out perfectly. So really, ha glad, really happy with how the team did. Especially um, the Slowbro, actually. The Slowbro getting enough damage on the Thunderous meant I knew that... Well, I guess I didn't know, right? But I felt like there would be a sack right at that moment. Um, and allowed us to get that that, uh, that opportunity off. So very happy with how the team did. Very pleased we missed the, missed the Zap Cannon. Nice job, Zerkatry. <laughs> if you'd like to see some more of our content, whether it is a VGC or Singles Draft League, definitely stick around, like, subscribe, and all that stuff, and I'll catch you on the next one.